Hello, viewers, and welcome to the Thievius Ra- Oh, damn it, it's raining. Well, wow, that was really inconveniently timed. Okay, weather clear. Let me start over. <clears throat> Hello, viewers, and welcome to the Thievius Raccoonus mod. My name is Will, and today we are going to be looking at this mod that adds in some stuff from the Sly Cooper series. Now, this is one of my favorite video games ever. I love the Sly Cooper series, especially the third game. That one's great. I haven't got to play the new one on the PS3, mostly because I don't have a PS3, but I really want to get one just so I can play that game. Maybe I'll sell it later to someone else who also wants to play the game. I don't know, we'll have a big Sly Cooper community PS3 buying party, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't. So uh, Scout's here today. Hello, Scout. He's going to be helping me demonstrate some of the stuff in this mod. And um, basically, Scout is a really huge fan. Maybe I'll sell it to him. I don't know. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I do want to mention that this is in 1.4.7, even though 1.5 recently just got released. But um, not a whole lot of mods are updated to 1.5 right now, so I'm, I had to downgrade. But anyway, let's get into the mod. So Sly Cooper is famously known for his cane, and this is crafted like this, and this is the looter, which is just a buffed up form of the cane, and this is a crafting recipe for it. So I'm going to be taking both of these. And the looter basically kills mobs in one shot, and the cane works like a diamond sword as a weapon. So uh, as you can see, sorry scout, right, the looter does kill any mob in one shot. Any mob with 10 hearts or less, I think, because it doesn't work for some of the later mobs that we see in this mod. So anyway, spoilers. So right here we have Sly's mask and his boots, and these, the, these are the crafting recipes for each. And this right here is called smoke powder. Now to get this, what you need to do is put some coal and glass in a crafting table and you will get smoke powder. Now you just saw that when I put coal in the crafting table, you will get coal dust. And when you use that and you put it in a box and you put glass inside of it, then you will get smoke glass. And what this is, is this stuff right here. Now basically this is just glass that doesn't let in very much light. So I'm going to time set day and now it's early in the morning and you can see that it does get shady in this little box as opposed to glass would just be absolutely clear and you can see everything so right here is we get to some of the more interesting stuff so this right here is a jump pad and this is a crafting recipe for it so when you come up on this jump pad and you jump you will get a small jump boost effect it'll allow you to jump over fences which is nice now when you put four of these together and you stand in the corner of each one, you will be able to jump about eight blocks high. Eight and a half blocks, really. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So right here is the pull, and this is crafted just by some iron ingots down in a row, and it will give you two pulls. Now this is supposed to work as a ladder, and it has for everyone else who's made a video that I've watched, and I just... I... <sighs> It won't work for me. I've been trying. I even tried turning it off and turning it back on. I really turned off Minecraft and opened it back up, and it just doesn't work for me. I guess maybe I didn't install it correctly, or 100% correctly, I don't know. But um, I'm, not, I'm not really that worried about it, because if I really wanted to like climb something, I just place the ladder down. One thing to mention is that the poles are affected by gravity, which is kind of cool. There you go, making another pole myself right there. So right here we have a sky wire, and that's just made by putting two string in a crafting table. And this is what it is. This is supposed to like replicate the tight ropes that are in Sly Cooper in the normal game. They have a bit of more of a squarish feel to them, as in instead of strings, they are just they are just squares. Now I think it would be cool if like you could press a button and then land on a trip wire. That's something I could. Well, not really a tripwire, just string, because you can place string down. But uh, yeah, you actually move faster on this stuff than you do running on like a normal block. And this is just to make it harder to balance on. Also, to make it harder to balance on, you can't actually do the shift trick, because when you use shift, you'll just fall right off. So yeah, it's definitely hard to balance on. If this were really high up in the air, and you had to walk along a long way, Maybe there were some mobs on it. It would be a pretty hard, it would be a pretty hard challenge to do. So we're done with all the blocks, but uh, there are a few mobs that come into this, such as Mugshot. 
So Mugshot in the original game runs a casino and he, he walks on his fist because he has tiny little legs. He runs a casino, does a bunch of illegal stuff with it. I don't recall exactly what he does, mostly because it's been like a year since I've played the first game. But in the third game, he comes back and then he gets out of prison and he comes to hunt you down and stuff. That's not the main plot, that's just one of the levels. But it, so no spoilers or anything. But yeah, he has a lot of hearts because he's big and bulky, I guess. And so yeah, this is the equivalent of a diamond sword, remember that. He also drops meat. Drop some steak. So there is one other mob that's added into this, and that is clockwork. The clockwork in the actual game is huge. It's a giant metal bird robot creature. And in this, it's basically just just a tiny little flying thing. If I use this other one, it'll kill him quicker. Wait, oh, god damn it. There it is. So in the game, he clockwork is basically the, the Cooper family biggest rival. He wants to kill all of the Cooper gang, has killed some of the Cooper family. And um, basically, oh God, what do, I, what do I want to say? In the first game, he tries to kill you, but you think you kill him. And then in the second game, people are using all kinds of clock. Really? Again? Come on. Clear. In the second game, you have to go collect all the... Why are there so many just creepers? It's like a creeper herd. Get out of here. Okay. This, this, this is a job for peaceful mode. Haha. -ha. All gone. All gone. And the rain stopped, so that's nice. Well, that was a nice little 30 second diversion from the topic. Anyway, in the actual game, you have to go around collecting all the pieces of clockwork because if people can put him back together, then he'll be revived and he'll come after you. So that's what the second game's all about. He's not even in the third game. But yeah, these are clockwork parts. He's, he drops zero to two of them. He didn't drop any when I just killed him. And you can use these clockwork parks to forge armor. And uh, it's basically, it's just iron armor. I think it's a little bit better though. A little bit better. And the clockwork helmet itself looks really cool. Check it out. Oh yeah. So um, I think that's, yeah, that's, that's all there is about this mod. There's no more, no sly, no stuff. Now I do want to say a few things about the planned features. This mod isn't completely finished. The creator said on the forums that he wants to add the Panda King, who is awesome, and I love the Panda King, who's who he works with clockwork, and then he 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 actually kills your father. Spoilers, that's not really a spoiler because that's like the first thing they tell you when you start the game. But yeah, the Panda King is like he's really good with fireworks and he uses explosives and stuff to try to kill you, and it's he's cray cray. And then he joins your team in the third game, and it's amazing, and you get to play as him and shoot fireworks at vampires, I think? I don't remember. I don't remember. It was kind of a, it was kind of a far-fetched part of the, of the plot. Anyway, there's also going to be a new clockwork design. I'm hoping that means bigger, and he actually flies. One other mob. What was it? Uh, there was one other mob coming. Oh, it was, um... It was Miss Ruby. She is this Cajun alligator that uses voodoo and stuff. So she's kind of hardcore. I, I, I dig her. She's a good character, you know? I, I'm, I'm feeling her. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say about this mod. So thank you for watching and being beautiful. Leave a like and subscribe to become a buddy. And that is the end of the video. My name is Will, and goodbye. Is it? Is it? Oh, no. Still not a ladder. Damn. Well, goodbye.